Scary, I'm Snuggly, the security bear. Hi, America. I'm back. Just a few weeks after telling you that snooping on a hundred or so reporters was no problem, Snuggly the security bear is back to tell you that snooping on, um, all of you isn't a problem either. <laughs> Just take it from my bosses. You've got nothing to worry about. Unless you're a terrorist, a treasonous leaker, or, um, a fan of the Bill of Rights. <laughs> See, even though we said that we only snoop on terror suspects and the people talking with them, turns out, in order to do that, we have to snoop on everyone. But don't worry. Like the president says, this is overseen by the three branches of government. Never mind it's one branch that lied to the other and a third who okays what the first wants 99.97% of the time. Certain sacrifices must be made if we're to keep you snugly and secure. And remember, we're just tracking and storing metadata, which means your phone number, who you called, when you called, where you were standing when you called, how long you talked, what kind of phone you talked on, who you called again, and who called you back. But don't worry, we're not listening to the actual call. <laughs> and if you happen to be using the internet, we'll be there too, ready to get your emails, videos, chats, search words, and photos, all to keep you snugly and secure. It's all perfectly legal. Just ask the secret court who won't reveal things to Congress. Or ask the director of national intelligence who does his very best to testify in the most unlying sort of way. Or ask the president who warned of the false choice between the liberties we cherish and the security we are. Ooh, oops, wrong quote. He said you can't have 100% security and also 100% privacy. Or better yet, don't ask at all. And remember, we're watching you. All of you! <laughs>